And then I also grabbed one of the Hudi, Hudi. <laughs> Bruni, do you hear grandma? It's just like nothing better than playing with new makeup. I can't eat this. I like, I don't know why I just can't. This is how the cool kids wear it. <sighs> Welcome back to another vlog. So today is currently Wednesday. I just got back from leg day. My legs were shaken. We bumped up the weights and so much harder, but really good workout. Oh, I need to drink my protein. I know there's like some time frame after that you're supposed to drink this, so hopefully it's not too late. Um, I finished my workout like an hour ago and then I just went and picked up our groceries. The whole Monday grocery sitch fell off this week because I had ordered HelloFresh, so we ate those the last few nights for dinner. Y'all, I love HelloFresh. Even when they don't sponsor me, I buy it. It's so good, <laughs> it's so good. And I gotta put these groceries away. I didn't get too much because I am doing it like more um, midweek. So let's do a little grocery haul. We got some cheese. I've gotta have a small milk in the house. Ancient grain pizza dough. This has been one of Yar's favorite snacks right now. So if you guys wanna try, he highly recommends. We always keep crackers in the house. These are like the 365 version of wheat thins. Rayo's was on sale again, yes. Look at the sale tab of Whole Foods on the Amazon app. <sighs> like shop the sale, because some of Whole Foods stuff is really not that badly priced, but I got this on sale, Yars Fave pizza sauce. Got a little thing of grape tomatoes, oranges, and bananas. We went to this cafe the other day and they had this yogurt bowl and it was so good. I don't know why I've never thought to put like peanut butter on top of a smoothie bowl or it was just a yogurt bowl. It was yogurt, blueberries, banana, chia seeds, and then like a scoop of peanut butter. And I had a bite of everything at once and oh my gosh, it was so good. These are the best if you guys like an easy, um, like garlic bread, it's a multi-grain baguette. Cause I don't eat a lot of carbs, but when I do, I always opt for something with like grains, whole wheat, um, like straight starchy carbs, like can be unpleasant to eat. And they just fill me up too fast and then I can't get enough protein, they don't feel good. So I always opt for like whole wheat or whole grain options. Uh, we ran out of frozen broccoli. I always buy the big one, it's just an easy side and we go through it quickly. We've got some chicken breast. This is the spring mix I buy for salads. I didn't get the huge one today. I got the regular size. Then I got some Chobani, a big thing of the vanilla yogurt because I'm moving into that yogurt bowl era <laughs> for now because um, I'm finishing my egg bites. And then we got these individual Chobanis. I think those are on sale too. We've got croutons. We've got evaporated milk. We've got diced green chilies. I like the spice. I could just put like chopped chilies or um, jalapenos in everything, pickled jalapenos. And then I get the whole grain Simply Smart breaded breast tenders because they're breaded with like um, whole grain breading. Okay, I'm gonna put this away, take a shower and I will check in with y'all later. Oh, also you guys, I wore this to the gym today for the first time, that new Abercrombie workout tank. It is so nice. Um, I wear the XXL. We've got some wiggle room. It's not too tight. It's so soft, so luxe, and just like really cute. I'm really impressed. I think I'm gonna order more of their workout tops because the ones I ordered recently from Fabletics, I don't like love them. They don't feel like supportive enough. I don't like a lot of support, but they just don't feel supportive enough. Um, and I just love, so they have so many and I'm really impressed with the quality. So um, I'll link this if you want to check it out, but I'm really loving it. Bruni, do you hear grandma? We're having a surprise visitor. You hear her? Oh my oh, God. God. Yay. Grandma or Cha Cha, who do I go to? Oh, there they go. <laughs> oh, there they go, Cha Cha. Oh, she's like bone. She's like, I want to play with this. A few moments later. Okay, I'm back. My mom came over kind of spontaneously, and then I ended up having lunch, and I'm still here. 
about to take a shower, but I got a couple packages in the mail and I got my uh, Sephora order with everything I got during the sale. I think it'll be over by the time this goes up, but let me know what you guys picked up during the sale. I posted already like my favorites on like TikTok and Instagram, doing like a face with my favorites. So hopefully you guys saw that. Okay, so first I got some acne patches. My favorite are the ones from Hero, but um, these were at Sephora and they had good reviews. So I like that they have the day ones that are sheer and then night ones that are more like thick. So we'll report back on these. I grabbed the Ole Henrikson. I grabbed the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Vitamin CC Stick. This goes under your eyes to brighten. It has caffeine as well to depuff because. In the morning, I usually use my Tula one, but I like that this one has more like of a color correction. So in the morning, I've just been doing like brow gel, mascara, and um, some like SPF and bronzing drops. So I think this would look nice as like a quick, easy morning brightener. Oh, I'm so excited. I got the Sol de Janeiro Rio Radiance Cream in the 87 fragrance. It's hydrating, it's glowy. I am obsessed with the packaging. I like go through these so much. It's like my go-to lotion, but I've never used like the Radiance one. Oh my God, that smells like my mom. Oh, that's trippy. Like that smells just like my mom. She loves that kind of like tropical, beachy, almost smells like a suntan lotion scent. It's got kind of like a pinky hue. So hydrating. This stuff will just make you smell so good. It gives like a nice glow to your skin. Oh. So excited to use this all summer. I'm finishing up my pink tub right now. Oh my God, that's crazy. That smells just like my mom. Then I grabbed from Patrick Ta, one of the cream and powder bronzer duos. I've been wanting to try one of these. I was contemplating between the blush and the bronzer. I ended up getting the bronzer. I've been wanting to try more Patrick Ta product. So it has both a cream and a powder bronzer. I just noticed, I like that the cream has like a little clear cover so it won't like get everywhere, but I love it. It has a big mirror. This would be amazing for travel. I think I got the medium shade, warm medium called She's Bronzed. We will definitely try this soon. I'm almost out of my Laura Mercier translucent powder, so great time to grab another one, 20% off. And then I also grabbed one of the Hudi <laughs> Huda Beauty Easy Bake baking setting powders in the shade Cupcake. It has a slightly pinky hue to brighten under the eyes because I don't have anything like that right now. So I love baking and setting my whole face with Laura Mercier, but I think just for the under eye area, I'm gonna try the Huda. I grabbed another oh, lip glow oil from Dior. Mine is actually almost gone. Um, wait, did I get, did I get? Never mind. okay, I got Raspberry. I feel like this is the one I got last time. It's like a slightly teeny weeny bit of pink so pretty oh i like to keep one in my purse in my office like look at how pretty i don't know what it is about these but they just hit different i had to grab because they're 20 percent off my all-time favorite shampoo and conditioner from pureology i have a lot of favorites but this is like my number one the hydrate from pureology purple bottles a little bit goes a very long way like the shampoo will lather a lot so like you don't have to waste product and I have a lot of hair um, color treated dry hair it's so minty it's like invigorating it's kind of like a feeling when you use the shampoo it's just ugh, so good and lastly I needed a new hairspray so I decided to try something new this is from color wow I feel like I don't know if color wow is just doing a ton of like sponsorships and that's why I'm seeing them everywhere or if they're just genuinely really good and popular right now so I will see that for myself. This is the cult favorite firm but flexible hairspray. The professional choice for color treated hair, super fast drying, strong hold, won't distort color. I wanna smell it. It doesn't really have a smell, like hardly any, which is fine, because the one I have right now, um, it's from Aveda, it smells weird, like to the point where I can't use it. That's my Sephora haul. Oh, and then I also got PR from Rare Beauty. I'm so excited, like I buy so much Rare Beauty. The package got a little messed up. So let's see what we got, I'm so thankful. It's in this cute little Rare Beauty basket, cute. Wow, okay, so we have the Always an Optimist 4-in-1 setting mist 
Glow Boosting Mist Hydrate Prime Set and Refresh Your Skin. Can't wait to try that. Ooh, Positive Light Liquid Illuminizer in Mesmerize. I have the Mesmerize Highlighter in like a powder form and it's insane. So I can't wait to try it as a highlighter. Guys, I'm so excited. Then we have the Bronzer Stick. This one's in On the Horizon. I think I have a different one right now. I don't know if this one's darker. And then we have a matte liquid blush in the shade Love, which I don't have. Then we have the Lip Souffle Matte Lip Cream in Inspire. I haven't tried, ooh, look at that color. I haven't tried any of the soft matte lip products. I've only tried the lip oils and they're so bomb. And a lip liner in Talented, a nice nude color. And lastly, we have the Stay Vulnerable Glossy Lip Balm in Nearly Apricot. Ooh, look at that. Let's throw it on, even though I just put on the Dior. Ooh, little hue, I love. Thank you so much for your beauty. I cannot wait to put this highlighter all over me. Like, <laughs> like just, just a little bit right now, even though I am barefaced. Ooh, pretty. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go put this away and shower, and now I will really see you later. Tomorrow. Okay, you guys, good morning. It's the next day, and we are gonna make that like yogurt bowl that I had mentioned the other day um, that we had at this cafe, and it was so good. I'm gonna try to like emulate it. So we're gonna start with some Chobani vanilla Greek yogurt. I don't know like what it is about the flavor combos here, but it just works and it kept me full for a really long time. I'm gonna kind of spread that around the bottom. And then the blueberries I have right now are so good. So we're gonna do a row of blueberries. The bowl I had was like much bigger and wider than this, um, but we're gonna just do our best here to make it look the same. Because having a bite of every ingredient, like with everything at once is what makes this so fire. Then we're gonna add Sliced banana. We're gonna do a nice pretty row of that. The other bowl was much wider. <laughs> I can't fit as much. It might not be as pretty, but I really want it to be. It's gonna like layer. <laughs> like do our best here. I can't eat this. I like I don't know why I just can't. Like, can you guys eat this part? I just cannot. We do a row of chia seeds. And then for our last row, a big dollop of peanut butter. They top theirs with honey. All I have is agave, so I'm just doing like a little. I only have hot honey and I just don't think that would be the vibe. So, um, can we just take a moment for the smoothie bowl or the yogurt bowl? I don't know. Guys, it's so good. Take a bite with everything in one. You will be amazed. Like, it's just the perfect flavor combo. All right, I gotta take off my rings. <laughs> my rings and my watch while I do makeup. It's just a thing for me. Okay, but I figured since I'm gonna go out and run a few errands, why not get ready? Why not use some of the new makeup that I got from Rare Beauty and from my little Sephora haul? I put it all in this little satchel. So fun. Oh, I just turned my light from Warm, cool, I like the medium. Sweet like honey, karma is a cat, purring in my lap cause it loves me. When I tell you I've had that song on repeat every time I get in the car, first song I turn on, karma. Cause karma is my boyfriend, so good. I wanna go to the concert, but the tickets are $2,000 each. I can't, like, I literally just can't. I'm wearing one of my new Etsy shirts. Cute. Okay, I haven't really been like priming lately and I realize it's because I ran out of my Hydro Grip, but I'm gonna start with one of my favorite foundations, Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin. Reminds me a lot of the CC Cream from It Cosmetics. They sent me a new shade and I'm kind of relieved because the shades I had were way too dark. I mean, they'll come in handy when I'm tan this summer. On the agenda today. I have some returns I need to bring to UPS. What else is new? Yarman has a Lululemon return I'm gonna do for him. And then of course, you know, I have a Target pickup with just a few small household essentials. Some of you guys were asking me to buy some of the new designer collection that Target dropped and like do a review. I know there's like a few pieces available in the store, but like the full range is online. So I feel like 
I should probably just order it online. I briefly looked at the stuff and a few things definitely like stood out to me. There's this really pretty orange dress that like immediately called to me, but I'll have to look at it again. The dog is sniffing the floor. Oh my gosh, this shade is so much better. This is in the shade for warm. I'm gonna use this deeper shade of the Rare Beauty. Okay, what shade is this? On the horizon. Cause the one I have is a lot warmer. You know what? I should have put this one on first and then use that one just to deepen up my cheekbone, but we'll mix, that'll be cool. Wait, I know, I wanna use, no. I wanted to use the Patrick Tall because it has the cream and the powder. We'll use the powder, sorry. I hope you guys grabbed these bronzing sticks during the Sephora sale because the way they melt like butter, the way they just like blend into the skin like nobody's business. Actually, that darker shade was nice. It added more of a contoured look. So it's nice I can use the lighter shade to bronze and then that deeper tone to really chisel. I'm just gonna go in with some e.l.f. concealer first and then we're gonna try that new shade of the Rare Beauty blush. And I can't wait to bake with the cupcake color. I'm telling you, there's just like nothing better than playing with new makeup. When I'm doing like a bunch of cream and powder products, I have to like slow down because I'm like, wait, Cause like, I don't know how people are putting on powder and then going back in with creams. I, whoa, whoa, <laughs> I cannot do that. When I do that, usually chunky monkey mess, crusty, busty, dusty, it just doesn't work for me. I don't know how people do that, but I am envious nonetheless. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush in Love. As I said, I have not tried this shade yet. So let's give it a go. God, these are so pigmented and beautiful. <gasps> so pretty. I don't know why I just did that with my sponge. I always use a brush for a liquid blush. Love it. So pretty. A little bit more of like a traditional blush color than like the pinky or the coral. Ooh, like it's really rosy. She's cute. I'm gonna put a little on my nose. Oh my gosh, let's look like, let's do that like sunburnt look today. I feel like that like look doesn't work on me. Okay, we're gonna try the Mesmerize Liquid Highlighter. Oh, damn. What should I blend this with? Beauty blender? Whoa, that is so pretty. I'm dying. <gasps> wow. I'm gonna take the excess down my nose. So pretty. Okay, now we're gonna set under the eyes with the Cupcake Translucent Powder from Huda. So you can see it has like a slightly pinky hue. So that should really help to brighten under the eye. Oh, this stuff smells so good. I'm excited to see if this like keeps the under eye bright because sometimes I feel like just using a plain translucent powder can darken under the eyes like a little bit. So hopefully this will keep us bright. All right, I'm gonna set my forehead, do the brows, you know what the drill. I'm not trying to get powdery brows. Like another makeup thing, how are you guys powdering your face after your brows are on without getting powder all over your eyebrows? Huh? Karma is my boyfriend. Karma did the bear. We're not doing anything crazy today. <laughs> like, I'm literally keeping this look pretty chill. We're just gonna throw in some brow gel. Nick, stick it and stick it. Oh, I already put brow gel in this morning too when I got ready. <gasps> oh, okay, a little clumpy dumpy. Cool. Taking my usual NARS Soft Matte Concealer just to sharpen under the eyebrow. It still keeps it very natural with just doing a brow gel, but then this keeps it a little cleaner, lifts the brow a little bit. It still looks like natural looking, but it's not fully sculpted. Okay, let's wipe away our under eye bake. I definitely feel like it kept it brighter than it usually does. I'm just gonna set the rest of my face with some Laura Mercier. Okay, let's try the Patrick Ta. She's bronzed. You know, we messed up the cream, but we're gonna go in with the powder. Ooh, that's pretty. It's nice because it's like, it's not super warm, but it's not like cool toned. It's kind of like the perfect middle bronzer. I'm like so snatched today because I did the deeper shade of the <laughs> Rare Beauty. I'm gonna take a little bit of this and just do a very minor nose contour because I forgot to do with the cream bronze. And we all know I'm not going over powder with cream. How y'all doing that? <laughs> I asked for the 15th time. Easy breezy. Oh, 
I like this shade a lot. And I'm gonna follow my usual protocol here, <laughs> take some bronzer and just throw it in my crease with a fluffy brush. I'm gonna use an old random blush today that I just love. It's the Seduce Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush because I feel like it's neutral, it lasts all day. These are so good and I feel like no one really talks about them. But Amazonian Clay products, like, they don't budge. Since we use the Rare Beauty Mesmerize Liquid Highlight, I'm gonna go in with the powder version that I'm obsessed with, like, glowing goddess so good and for the first time i'm actually have i did i buy this before my memory sucks <laughs> but we're gonna use the rare beauty always an optimist four in one mist to set us down feels good on the skin has a nice like light smell okay we're gonna try the rare beauty lip liner in talented it looks like it's like a nice nudie color Ooh, it's really close to my lip color which i always love in a lip liner it's a matte lip liner but it's like it's really nice and creamy oh it's self-sharpening i love that this is really really nice oh my gosh and then i'm gonna just throw some of that rare beauty nearly apricot this like lip balm kind of i don't even know what this is kind of a glossy balm so pretty I've been obsessed with their lip oils. Like I wear them every day. But I wanted to try something different. And this shade that they sent is also just like a little too much for today. So there's the face. I'm just gonna throw on mascara now, but fun to play with new products. Okay, here's the final makeup with mascara. Here's the fit check. I'm wearing some flared leggings. <laughs> And I thought will never not be funny. Um, and then this Etsy t-shirt, I just did a little knot. And it says, today is a beautiful day to put yourself first. All this cute stuff on the back. We're gonna switch to car cam. Let's go run some errands. All right, I went to UPS, got my small target pickup. And now I'm gonna run in and do his return, which I left in the car. Oh my gosh, the nicest girls in there. Like, they told me blue was my color and that it like looks good with my hair, I swear. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but I'm never wearing anything but blue again. <laughs> so I got him a pair of swim shorts. He asked me to pick him a sum up. Um, so these are like the new pool short, seven inches. And the cool thing is I guess you can wear them as normal shorts too. Um, he was like, just don't get anything shorter than seven inches. <laughs> So I got him these and then I grabbed myself one of the belt bags. I've wanted to get one for a while um, for like casual days like today if I don't want to wear like um, my nice purse or if I'm afraid of getting it dirty because my current bag is white. So like on days where I just I don't want to worry about like getting it messed up or anything and more casual. I grabbed a belt bag. So they had the, a large version, the everywhere belt bag in large. And I got this really pretty green cause it's like very neutral, but um, I'm gonna have to go home and see how long this strap is. Cause you wear it kind of like cross body, you know? And like, you don't wear it like low cross body. It kind of like sits higher, but I just want to make sure it's like gonna fit my body right, you know? So we'll go home and check it out. If not, I'll return it, but um, errands are done. Let's go home and get some stuff done. I have to fold some laundry. A few minutes later. Okay, moment of truth. I'm not gonna take the tag off. I find it so funny how like everyone's wearing them just as normal cross bodies and not belt bags, but I do like the concept and it's easy to just grab stuff. I'm gonna put it on the loosest situation here because I'm a big girl. Okay, that looks pretty promising. Yeah, this is how people wear them. I don't know. I wish this part was on this side. I'm trying to think if there's like a science to that or if I just have to wear it the other way. I guess if I wore it on this side. But yeah, this is how I see people wear it. Yeah, I don't mind this side actually. And then it's just easy access. To like your keys and your phone. I feel like the large one is just so much better than the small. And they wear it kind of high like this. Cute. Babe, come check out my new purchase. You saw the receipt, it went to your email. Look, I got a belt bag. Yeah, that's nice. You like it? 
Yeah. They had the large size. What's inside of it? I put my phone in my wallet to see how it fit. Nice. I like the large size because the other ones are a little too small. But like this is how this is how the cool kids wear it. That's how the cool kids wear it. Yeah, they wear it like across yeah. like this and then like kind it. of up on your boob a little bit. I like it. And I like it's nooch. Oh my god, the girls in there were so nice and they told me that blue is my color. Everyone's been saying to wear blue. I also like the green. You like the green? Yeah, the green's nice. Yeah, the green is cute. It's like still neutral. So here's the bathing suit. They were raving about these because you can also just wear them as shorts. Yeah, but those it's, are awesome. It's a, called the pool short. That looks good because I have thick thighs. Yeah. So it looks like it has a, a wide open. The extra large looked too big. I think you're more of an extra large like on top, yeah, not the bottoms. For sure. Yeah. Cute. That's awesome. Thank you. Yeah. That. okay you guys i am doing some editing and i need to go fold the laundry and i just blew my nose so I might be a little red also i've been wanting to like share this as a little easter egg if you're listening up if you're plus size and you're listening up actually wait this could be for all the girlies hold on one sec okay actually it's for all the girlies i found the best amazon underwear the best thongs because I'm always on the hunt for good ones that aren't like, they don't have enough real estate in terms of the length and they like just give you like the most painful wedgie. These have enough real estate. They come up high in the front. Um, they're not like compression where they're gonna like suck you in, but they come up high enough to feel like comfortable, super stretchy. They're like cute and ribbed because I love ribbed stuff. They're amazing. Um, what size did I buy? I bought the XXL. They go from extra small to 4X. They're the best, the best thongs I have ever worn. Um, so great price. I got the six pack for 25 bucks. So I will link them. I'm gonna go fold laundry. Let's do it together. Many hours later. All right, you guys, I just ran to get my prescription and I was next to Trader Joe's. So I got some fresh flowers because the tulips are on their way out. But I actually, I did a pretty good job keeping them alive. You know, they're not easy, but I followed what Google told me to do. And although I have those um, dried flowers, especially since it's spring, there's just something about having fresh flowers. So whenever I feel like it, but again, if you haven't got this Amazon vase, this fluted vase is so pretty. I will link it again. Good morning. It is Friday. Getting a little bit of a late start today. It's 10 15 and I'm gonna head to the gym. And I got these new earrings. I needed like a medium hoop. And they just came in from Amazon, so I was excited. They're like the perfect size. Like a nice medium size and like 10 bucks. So I will link. Drinking my one caffeine source for today 200 milligrams. That's it. <laughs> okay, but got some new sea moss gel oh here it is um because i ran out and it's time to get back on that grind because i just hear so many good things about sea moss for your fertility so i got a new kind it had good reviews i got it on amazon i'll link this too um this one is it says apple cider vinegar <laughs> flavor but um everyone else said it just tasted like apples like a green apple 
candy, doubt it. Yeah, they had an unflavored, they had other flavors like pineapple mango or something. And the ingredients are literally just wildcraft sea moss, apple cider vinegar, spring water, agave, citrus organic ingredients. It's just good for you. I used to put this in my smoothies, um, but I'm not having a smoothie today, so I'm just gonna take it as it is. So it's recommended to have two tablespoons a day. Do your own research. Obviously, I'm not a doctor here. All right delicious bottoms up we're getting our lawn mode if you can hear it <sighs> i just don't love the texture but the flavor is great 10 out of 10 on the flavor just wash it down with a little water that's the best tasting sea moss gel i've ever had though genuinely tastes like green apple candy <laughs> so great i'd call that one tablespoon going in for the second, but I'm actually very pleasantly surprised with the taste. Like, I put my non-flavored one in smoothies that I used before and you couldn't taste it at all, but if you're gonna eat this raw, like the flavor of this is truly 10 out of 10. It's just a weird texture, like like a really, 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 really thick applesauce. <laughs> Thank God it doesn't have a bad taste because with that texture, I could never, I could never. Back in the fridge, it does need to be refrigerated for three to four weeks in the fridge. This will definitely be gone by then from having two tablespoons a day. Um, freeze for up to six months. So I'll link it. It has a bunch of other benefits too, um, but I'm mostly doing it for fertility, of course. But I guess it's like good for your skin and hair and stuff, I don't know. All right, I'm gonna fill up my water, head to the gym, and I'm gonna end this vlog here. I just thought we'd have a little fun sea moss moment before the end, and I'll be starting another vlog as I do. But I love you, and I'll see you in a few days. Bye.